There's nothing quite like biting into a juicy, sun-warmed tomato fresh from your garden. Growing tomatoes from seeds is a rewarding experience allowing you to witness the entire life cycle of this beloved fruit. Beyond the satisfaction of growing your own food, you'll enjoy a wider variety of tomatoes than what's typically available at garden centers. Plus, starting from seeds is easier on the wallet, especially if you plan to grow a bountiful tomato harvest. Whether you have a spacious backyard or a sunny windowsill, growing tomatoes from seeds is an achievable goal for gardeners of all levels. This guide will walk you through the process step by step, providing practical tips and encouragement along the way. Get ready to enjoy the fruits of your labor, literally. Choosing the right tomato seeds is the first step towards a successful harvest. With countless varieties available, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. As a beginner, opt for varieties known for their ease of growth and resilience. Cherry tomatoes like Sweet Million or Sun Gold are prolific producers offering an abundance of bite-sized treats. For classic slicing tomatoes, Early Girl lives up to its name, delivering ripe fruit early in the season. If you're a fan of homemade sauces, Roma tomatoes are a must-have for their meaty texture and low moisture content. When purchasing seeds, choose a reputable supplier to ensure quality and higher germination rates. Look for organic seeds if you prefer to grow your tomatoes without synthetic pesticides or fertilizers. Before sowing your tomato seeds, you'll need to create a nurturing environment for them to germinate and grow. Choose containers with good drainage such as seed trays, small pots, or even biodegradable peat pots. Fill your chosen containers with a lightweight seed starting mix specifically formulated for seedlings. Avoid using garden soil at this stage, as it can be too heavy and may harbor diseases. Gather the necessary tools, including a spray bottle for watering, a plastic cover or humidity dome to create a warm, moist environment, and plant labels to keep track of your varieties. With your nursery set up, you're ready to sow the seeds of your tomato dreams. Now comes the exciting part, sowing the seeds. Fill your containers with the seed starting mix, moistening it evenly. Create shallow indentations about one quarter inch deep in the soil, spacing them a couple of inches apart. Place one or two seeds in each indentation and lightly cover them with the soil mix. Use your spray bottle to mist the surface of the soil, being careful not to dislodge the seeds. Cover the containers with a plastic lid or humidity dome to trap moisture and warmth. Place the containers in a warm location, ideally around 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, away from direct sunlight. Check the moisture levels daily and mist the soil as needed to keep it consistently moist but not soggy. Section 5. Nurturing the Seedlings. Within 5 to 10 days you should start to see tiny green shoots emerging from the soil. Congratulations, your tomato seeds have germinated. Once the seedlings emerge, remove the plastic cover and move the containers to a sunny location. A south-facing windowsill is ideal, providing at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight each day. If natural light is limited, consider using grow lights to supplement. Continue to monitor moisture levels, watering with a gentle touch to avoid disturbing the delicate roots. As the seedlings grow taller and develop their first set of true leaves, these will look different from the initial seed leaves, you can start fertilizing them with a diluted, balanced liquid fertilizer. Follow the instructions on the fertilizer package for the appropriate dilution rate and frequency. Section 6. Transplanting. Giving them more room to grow. As your tomato seedlings grow larger, their roots will start to fill the containers. This is a sign that they need more space to continue their healthy growth. If left in small containers for too long, the roots can become bound, which can stunt the plant's growth and reduce its overall health. When the seedlings develop two to three sets of true leaves and are a few inches tall, it's time to give them more space to stretch their roots. True leaves are the leaves that appear after the initial seed leaves, and they are a good indicator that the plant is ready for the next stage of growth. This process is called transplanting. Transplanting helps ensure that your plants have enough room to grow strong and healthy, which is crucial for a bountiful harvest later on. Choose larger containers, such as 4-inch pots, or prepare a larger seed tray. The size of the new container should be appropriate for the plant's current size and its expected growth over the next few weeks. Fill the new containers with potting mix, moisten it, and create a hole large enough to accommodate the seedling's root ball. The potting mix should be well draining to prevent water logging, which can lead to root rot. Gently lift the seedlings from their original containers, 
handling them by their leaves to avoid damaging the delicate stems. The stems are very fragile at this stage, and any damage can hinder the plant's growth. Place the seedlings in the new holes, burying the stems slightly deeper than they were previously growing. This encourages the development of additional roots along the buried portion of the stem, leading to a stronger and more stable plant. This encourages stronger root development. Strong roots are essential for the plant to absorb nutrients and water efficiently, which supports overall plant health and productivity. Water the seedlings thoroughly after transplanting. This helps to settle the soil around the roots and reduces transplant shock. Make sure the water reaches the root zone to encourage deep root growth. Before moving your tomato seedlings outdoors permanently, it's crucial to gradually acclimate them to the harsher conditions outside. This gradual process helps the plants adjust to the new environment without experiencing stress. This process is called hardening off. Hardening off is essential to prepare the seedlings for the outdoor environment, which is much different from the controlled conditions indoors. Start by placing the seedlings outdoors in a shaded, protected area for an hour or two each day gradually increasing the duration and sun exposure over the course of a week or two. This gradual exposure helps the seedlings build resilience to outdoor conditions. This will help them adjust to temperature fluctuations, wind, and direct sunlight, preventing transplant shock. By the end of the hardening off period, your seedlings will be strong and ready to thrive in their new outdoor home, leading to a successful growing season. Section 7 avoiding common pitfalls even with the best intentions beginner gardeners often encounter a few bumps along the road one common mistake is overwatering, which can lead to root rot and other fungal diseases remember to let the soil surface dry out slightly between waterings and always check the moisture level before reaching for the watering can another common issue is insufficient light resulting in leggy weak seedlings Make sure your seedlings receive at least 6 hours of direct sunlight each day, supplementing with grow lights if needed. Finally, avoid overcrowding your seedlings. Give them ample space to grow and breathe, preventing competition for resources and reducing the risk of diseases spreading. Section 8. Planting Time from Pots to Garden Beds This section will guide you through the essential steps to transition your tomato seedlings from their initial pots to their final garden beds ensuring they thrive and produce a bountiful harvest. Once your tomato seedlings are about 6 to 8 inches tall, they are ready for the next stage of their growth journey. Ensure that all danger of frost has passed in your area, as frost can damage or kill young tomato plants. When the weather is right, it's time to plant them in their final growing location. This is a crucial step in their development. Choose a sunny spot that receives at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight each day. Tomatoes need plenty of sunlight to grow strong and healthy. Tomatoes thrive in well-drained soil that's rich in organic matter. This type of soil provides the nutrients they need to flourish. If your garden soil is heavy clay or sandy, it can hinder the growth of your tomato plants. Amend it with compost or other organic matter to improve drainage and fertility. This will create a more hospitable environment for your plants. Space your tomato plants 18 to 24 inches apart, giving them enough room to grow and spread out. Depending on the variety and their mature size, you may need to adjust the spacing slightly to accommodate their growth. Dig holes slightly larger than the root balls of your seedlings. This ensures that the roots have enough space to expand. Gently place them in the holes, being careful not to damage the delicate roots. Bury the stems deeper than they were previously growing. This encourages the development of additional roots along the buried stem, providing more stability and nutrient uptake. Water the plants thoroughly after planting. This helps to settle the soil around the roots and provides the moisture they need to start growing. Staking or caging your tomato plants will provide support as they grow taller. This is especially important for preventing the plants from falling over or breaking. It also helps to prevent the branches from breaking under the weight of the fruit, ensuring that your plants remain healthy and productive throughout the growing season. Section 9. Reaping the Rewards, Harvesting Your Bounty After weeks of nurturing your tomato plants, the moment you've been eagerly anticipating has finally arrived. It's harvesting time. This is the culmination of all your hard work, patience, and dedication. Tomatoes are typically ready to harvest 60 to 80 days after transplanting, depending on the variety. It's important to keep track of the days and observe the changes in your plants. 
you'll know they're ripe when they've reached their full color and size and feel slightly firm to the touch. The vibrant hues and the slight give when gently squeezed are your indicators. Gently twist or snip the tomatoes from the vine, leaving the stem attached. This helps in preserving the freshness and extending the shelf life of your tomatoes. Enjoy your homegrown tomatoes fresh from the garden or use them to create delicious sauces, salsas, salads, and countless other culinary delights. The possibilities are endless, and each dish will carry the essence of your garden. The taste of a sun-ripened tomato bursting with flavor will make all your efforts worthwhile. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of tasting the fruits of your labor. Congratulations on successfully growing your own tomatoes from seed. This is a significant achievement and a testament to your gardening skills. You've not only gained a bountiful harvest but also a newfound appreciation for the magic of gardening and the joy of growing your own food. This experience enriches your connection to nature and provides a sense of fulfillment that goes beyond the harvest itself.